And welcome back to the Overachiever. Uh, we are currently getting retro achievements on the uh, Supervision 110 in 1 multi cart, and well, particularly the games that are on there. Uh, and I just finished playing uh, Mighty Bomb Jack, which is a weird platformer. And we're going to go into another weird platformer that's Probably harder than it needs to be. That is Myland's Secret Castle. Uh, I did do a full playthrough of this game. I have also done a full playthrough of the Game Boy Advance version of this game, which is a lot friendlier, honestly. And uh, we're going to play this and see how many of the 47 achievements we can get within about half an hour. So we can shoot up, we can shoot down, we cannot shoot straight. We can also find some of these in some places. There's a music box that leads us to a bonus stage. And we have to get the music notes. If we get a sharp, we get two music notes. If we get a flat, we lose a music note. And however many music notes we have, will determine how many points we end, uh, how many dollars rather we end up taking out of here. Eventually you'll hear the music start to change here. And that's how you know that the bonus round is almost done. And we managed to get 43, which is actually really good. Now there's a lot of stuff hidden in the walls in this game, such as, for instance, this. There's a full health extension. There's one of those in pretty much every stage. There's also this money, which is going to be very important. Also, after killing enough things, we get a key, which will allow us to exit the stage, provided we can find the exit, which in this stage is right over here. And there's also some shops around here. Shrink when you touch the glove. I'll make more sense once we find one of those supposed gloves. A window. That leads to nothing. Occasionally, monsters will drop hearts, which, you know, free health. Can't get up there at the moment. We can't get through here. I think maybe we can finagle. And sometimes I'll drop one of those uh, umbrellas. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get that one. But if we can collect it, that will give us additional firepower. Very precise jump to make, though. It doesn't help with this guy firing at us. Eh. I gotta worry too much about it right now. Anyway, here's the key. Exit's up there.
And as a kid, that was about as far as I ever made it. Because there's some there's a very important thing that I didn't realize that you could do in the first stage. There we go, parasol power. But yes, this block is differently colored. If you push on it, it will move. And there's a door behind it. And there's a shop behind it. And there are these uh, jump boots in the shop. Jump higher when spring where springs are set. Secret entrance in the front wall. Bump head to find box. And that's alluding to the uh, the music box. Now what do these shoes allow us to do? You see these platforms here? Boing! Oh right, there's also another discovery we can make. I think it's around here. Okay. I don't think it is. And maybe it's not over here. Oh, that's fine. Let's go back in the second stage. What have you come back to? It's Smiling Secret Castle. This absurd friggin' game. Oh, jeez. Hey, buddy. Ah! Ah, this game has basically no chill, by the way. I thought the block was pushable, I guess not. Now we can get up here. And I believe here... There it is. Get into it before we die. And you won't hear much of a difference this time, but the more of these that you go into, um, the more music there will be in the bonus room. Now, already you can see that there are two of the uh, elf dudes up top there who have. Uh, instruments. One is a drum and one is cymbals, so the music hasn't really changed this time. I basically have the music memorized though, so like if I'm follow if I'm like just following the rhythm, I'll be able to tell like when it's about to run out. Unfortunately that puts us back at the beginning of the stage. With no health, so if we take a if we take one hit, we did. Like that. Well, let's try again. We got plenty of time. Just immediately getting a parasol. I'm just humming the, the song to myself. So if you if you catch uh, under fifty notes, you get one dollar per four notes. If you catch more than fifty notes, you get a dollar every two notes. Oh geez. 
unfortunately, health restore. Also, I see my deaths are being counted now. Fantastic. I haven't forgotten about the, uh, about the shop. We're going to go back there now. I just wanted to collect some money first. Ah. Oh, jeez. Hi. Unfortunately, when you take hits, you uh, there's a chance that you lose your parasols. Oh, that one. That one was a jerk. Went right over it. I am surprised I didn't take a hit from anything there. I definitely took a hit from you, though. Just heard the, the key spawn. Yeah, there is a, a notch there. And if you, if you shoot that just right, you can actually get up there without even having the boots. And I worry about that after we've been upstairs. Especially considering that uh, getting the music box resets our position back to the start. Part of the problem with uh, with doing this is like the momentum. Like you have to like get started running for this. I apparently can't get any better than forty three. Oh, here we go. Get it! Hudson B. Bumble Bubble. And I'll give us a couple of extra hits. And that can be refilled by getting hearts. But once it's done, it's gone. Now since we have the potion, we can get hit by this thing. We don't have the potion. Okay. I forgot to get the potion. And so I lost my B-Shield. There we go. What are these other hints? Find a saw. Okay. Crystal has mysterious power. Interesting. Anyway, now that we actually have the potion, By the way, the, uh, the music box does not reappear, so you can't just grind that. And there we go. We, are, we have shrunk. Get this money up here. 
should be able to get up to 30. Yes. And then there's also that path. Which gives us this. If we have $50 right now, we can get this lantern. We can also get it later for 15 Secrets in the well. Good to know. Now, that unshrunk us, so we can't come back out the same way we came in. But provided that we cannot get killed by this friggin' dragon thing. And just push this. And down we go. So where do we go next? Well, you remember this, uh, this window that led to nowhere? Yeah, it doesn't lead to nowhere anymore. I specifically have to hit this guy in the face. And of course we're not going to do that. Ah, uh, well, let's keep trying. But yeah, the, the trigger for that is getting the, uh, the shoes. So once you get the shoes, then you can uh, face that boss and try to get to the next stage. I have a pretty good shot of getting 50 here. No, not if I just sidestep everything. Ah, oh, we got 48. I'm gonna take out the trash and get food and everybody dies. One thing that I didn't get as well is the honeycomb for the second stage, which would have probably not helped all that much, but better than nothing. Appeared somewhere. Let's see if I can find it before going into the shop. There it is. Okay, let's not forget the potion this time. Get in the door, Shinji. <laughs> I keep jumping right over it, what the hell? That health it betrayed me. Oh, get out of here. I did hear the key come out. And before getting. Oh, there's the, uh, the honeycomb. Before we get the bonus room, I'm gonna do something else here first. 
Not gonna bother with the uh, the shop. Cause we can't afford that. Uh... Um, lantern anyway, and we're probably not gonna get far enough to really use it in the first place. But there's this little spot here, and if you're shrunk, you can get in and get some more money. Provided that you can make a very precision jump. I was never able to get that money as a kid. Because I didn't understand what the potion did because I was playing the Japanese version of the game. Ah! Momentum! Flat too. Uh, we're not getting 50 this time. Now well, these got 40. Taking all these hits is not going to help me fight the boss. The fact is, like, I'm going to need to grind for health, or at least try. Yeah, this ain't working. The one health that drops and it's somewhere I can't possibly get it. I feel like the first stage is going to be a lot safer for that, though. Ow! By the way, you don't want to stay outside for too long, or else um, you, you get a thunderstorm. A very violent th thunderstorm. Anyway, we should be able to get some health here, hopefully. And the parasol helps too, but I really need health. That ain't health. Ah, boy. And, like, the thing is, if you can at the very least beat the first boss, then, um, that activates a code that allows you to continue. Friggin' Oh my goodness, I'm just missing everything this time. Might not even get the 40. Ah, just barely. I think the solution here is um, basically I want I want to keep one of the um, one of the the honeycombs for like just before the boss. Also, you see all that money over there? You can't get it until some ways into the game, actually. But once you get in there, you can actually collect it three times before it disappears. Alright, we have our $16.
Unfortunately, I'm still a couple of bucks short from getting the potion. I don't think there's any more money in this stage. Oh, wait, on the way out. There we go. Can't remember where the Hudson B is in this stage. And for that matter, I can't really remember where it is in any stage. I kind of remember where the uh, music boxes are, vaguely. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Wow! Well, that sucked. I think that's a sign for us to, uh, to move on to something else. Oh boy. I'm not kidding you and don't call me Shirley. You know, that, that is, uh, that is not quite the quote, no. Uh... I want to play either that, that, or that. And I think I will play that one. So this is another Japanese exclusive. Does it not have achievements? Well, I guess the sound effects kind of ruined the surprise there, but uh, if it doesn't have achievements, we're not playing it. Where is achievements? There it is. No achievements! I was going to play Quarth, but uh, Unfortunately, he has no achievements, so we're not doing that. So I'm going to play this one instead, provided again that it has achievements. This is an unlicensed game. And it has 51 achievements, and apparently I already have 13 of them, but we'll... We'll play it anyway. Yes, this is Tetris by Tengen. Ah, uh, so we're gonna play one player, all zero. All right, pop-ups, please. Anyway, I don't have to explain this game, it's friggin' Tetris. But yes, this game is unlicensed. Um, I think what happened, if I'm not mistaken, is that uh, Tengen attempted to get a license for Tetris from Nintendo instead of Electronaur Tactica. And so this is, uh, as, as a result, this game's Tetris license is invalid. And um, anyone who has a physical copy of this game hopefully realizes it's worth something. <laughs> but 
But the rules for this specific one is you want to try to get 30 lines. Once you get that, you clear the level. You get bonuses for whatever lines you got. And uh, move on to the next one. There we go, we got our Tetris set up. There we go. But yes, the, this is kind of a uh, cheap knockoff port of the um, the arcade Tetris game, which I believe was released by Atari. Also. Uh, you can do that once per level. Um, the code isn't quite the Konami code, but the end of the code is, uh, like, the, the entire code fits within the end of the Konami code. So if you just do the Konami code, it works. And then you get these dancers based on how well you did, and I did well enough to get all six. Also, I forgot to start the timer. I don't know which of the achievements I have for this game, but uh, I have 13 of the 51 achievements. But we might not see any new achievements for uh, for this playthrough. That's okay. Uh, we're having fun. Uh, at least I'm having fun. Hopefully you're enjoying the ride. Even if this is nothing like um, that one time that I streamed Tetris Effect. I honestly didn't think that I was going to get to, uh, to 1cc journey mode, but that's what, uh, that's what happened. You don't have a ticket? Then get out. Actually, don't. Rides are free on Tuesdays. Ah. How's it? There we go. Yeah, it's, um, so you know the, the Konami code, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA, um, just take out the up, up, and you have the code for one free straight piece per level. So if I were to try to get now, it would just not work. Six again. We have broken the high score. And 
say, oh no, we've broken the highest score, or we need to replace it. What will we, what will we replace it with? My score. Yeah, playing these older Tetris games really makes me appreciate the Tetris guideline. Like, you can see the, the weights of pieces that have, uh, that the game has given me over on the right side there. And it's like... It is very not even, but um, with any modern Tetris game, the majority of them are going to use the 7 bag system, which guarantees that every piece drops equal number of times. Some will use an 8 bag system, which is basically 7 bag, but we're adding one extra piece at random. The, se the seven bag piece, the seven bag system is simply just like, there are seven different tetraminos, and you get one of each put into your randomizer. Level three. Oh, we only get five this time because we only got two tetrises. No triples. Bring this down a little bit. Apparently I completed a speedrun. Okay, we have touched down. Speedrun cheating? It's not cheating. If it was cheating, then the uh, the timer would have stopped as soon as I put in the code. Who do you think I am, Billy Mitchell? It is a sad, I know that name. <laughs> Penalty, too many lines on the field. Five yards, still, <laughs> still first Tetris. This angle is so great. Oh, thank goodness. Whew, and we get to use our uh, our full line piece here immediately.
Mm. Not really any good plays for those right now. Oh, thank goodness. Unblock that a little bit. Hopefully we can get a triple down there. There it is. Oh, how nice of you to give me two of them. This, this, uh, this is a mess right now. Let me assure you, but we've made it through another level at the very least. With six dancers again, I am honestly surprised with just one Tetris, but the three, the three triples were enough. sacrifice there. Let me tell you, I have a 144 and two-thirds percent chance to win if I make a sacrifice. Level six. I probably should have put that uh, that green one down there, over here. But uh, that is not what I did. Okay, have I used my? Eh, not for this level yet. stack a little bit. Now I'm just thinking of a, a post that I made on co-host a little bit ago. The reaction to someone saying, I have made a grievous stack error before even completing a line. The Tetris player replies, Ah, oh, that sucked when that happens. The, program the programmer replies, What did you even do? Trust me, if you're a programmer, that's hilarious.
That's, I think it's starting to take a little bit longer before we get to new levels. Stack overflow hand stuck in wall. It's okay, just just uh just call Mazzy over. She'll get it out of there. Tetris. And what I'm saying Mazzy is good with things in the wall. Mazzy lives in the wall, you didn't know. This is a bad combination of pieces. And clean up some of this mess. And this is not gonna clean up anything! That definitely helps. Helps the score at the very least. Nothing else. Yeah, it is now taking more than uh, more than 30 lines to get to the next level. Inside the walls. Remove the from. Oh no. The call is coming from inside the house. How is that even possible, sir? If the call was, was trying to come from inside the house, they would get a busy signal. Dancing. And then it's on to level seven. Also, just noticed that the uh, the speedrun timer has gone away, so there are no more speedruns to submit. I mean, if I guess if you have multiple phone lines, then yeah, then then it becomes possible.
I don't think I've used my uh, my free line piece yet, but there's one coming up. Sorry if I'm not responding to chat much right now, but uh, we're getting to the nitty gritty of this game. Have those combo points, except that there are no combos this early in Tetris. Wonder if there's an achievement for filling up all of the status bars on the uh, on the right side. The way things are going, I think that's going to happen. Let's see if my cell phone calls itself. <laughs> Clearly, needs to talk to me as well. The right side reaches the top, we win a prize! We win a Tetris of our very own! It's promised a car. I don't know who promised you a car, but it definitely wasn't me. I think as a kid, I, I reached this point like once or twice. I was okay at Tetris, but uh... I am better now, arguably. It also kind of helps that Tetris itself is better. There's also a feature of this game that allows you to, um, to play against the computer. So you just have the computer playing in, uh, like on the right side instead of having those status bars. The, like the computer playing on the other side means absolutely nothing. The only thing that can really happen is um, you're you're kind of racing against each other to try to get to the next level first. Because um, whoever gets to the next level first gets the bonus points for that level. And then if the other person gets to the next level after that, then it just does the little fanfare and you just keep playing. You don't get any bonus points. But there, there's no, like, you, you don't, like, send garbage lines to each other like you would in most, um, most competitive Tetris games. I think we got one of the bars to the top now. This is starting to snowball. Well, we are gonna get a Tetris at the very least. 
and open up that uh, that right side again, uh, that left side again. Get another Tetris. Be a car shaped like a Tetris piece. Choose wisely. And Kuya from the year 2030 called me and said, You owe me a car. Oh, okay. Well, I'll get right on that. This is, this is the point in the game where, where I stop dropping the pieces and just let them fall. Stop dropping the pieces as much anyway, and then I screw that one up. Alright, well, I didn't think I was going to get to level 10. We've hit our half hour, but uh, I want to see how far this goes. My excuse for for using that code, by the way, modern Tetris has whole pieces. This doesn't. Plus, you don't get to use it all the time, so there is a little bit of strategy to, like, when do you use it to be the most effective.
I am disappointed. We made it to the top of the, uh, of the status bars and no achievement. I really should be one, I think. Anyway, I'll, I'll get those cars ready for everyone, and you can claim yours in about uh, 20 years. Has hole-in-the-wall pieces. You mean like that game show hole-in-the-wall? Which ran, which ran on Fox for like half a season. And then went to some other network that I wasn't aware of forever. Okay. You flatten it out again. Let's see how long it takes to screw this up. Answer is not very long. Trying to think, like, what is the farthest I've ever made it in this game? I kind of want to say it wasn't this far. But it might have been at least once. I still have my straight line, but also it wouldn't help me right now. And also there is one now. Nothing because you cheated. Damn. I did I didn't realize that me six years from now was so strict about uh, using cheat codes. I guess you're not getting your cars after all. This ain't going great. I think the dream is over. Well, maybe. It's 
kind of under control now. Oh no! Well... That was a pretty good run though. If I had wanted to, I could have pressed A and B at the same time there and started a new game, but then I would not have made it to the high score table. Also, interesting thing about pressing A and B to start a new game is that it uses the same randomization seed to give you your pieces, so you get the same pieces in the same order. Anyway, there's other modes as well, which is probably where most of the other achievements are, but we are past time for this. Uh, stop there. There. Um. Actually, let's see if I can find this. And it's probably. Is it this one? I think it's this one. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on it, but I just want to show it off. Yeah, it is this one. And you're going to tell by this, by the music immediately. Yeah, it is straight up another Tetris game, which is why I'm not going to be spending a whole lot of time, but I, I need to show this, I think. This one is by Bulletproof Software. Um, I don't know, let's just... It also has Technotris, which is an excellent song. Now the thing about this game, you don't get to soft drop the pieces, you can only hard drop them. To rotate a piece, you press down. And then you press A to hard drop it. Uh, it works a little bit in the same principle as the other Tetris, where you have to clear a certain number of lines. To uh, advance to the next level, we also have three lives. So if we top out, then it's not, a, it's not the end of the world. I don't think those lives ever come back. Yes, this is the other Tetris that's on this uh, this multi card, and I remember one one day just getting like into a groove with this, despite the backward controls, and just playing this for quite some time actually. I'm gonna go until I clear a level and then we'll move on to something else, because we just played Tetris. But it's, it's worth looking at, at the very least. Okay. 
Okay, six lines to go. Let's see if we can land a Tetris here. And there, there is no, uh, there is no Konami code to help us here. So if we want to land that Tetris, we're gonna have to do a legit. It's prepared. But, like, playing this version of Tetris really forces you to be conscious about what you're doing. Because you are gonna want to press A to rotate, and then you press A and just hard drop that piece right where you didn't want it. Come on, give me a long one. There we go. There's other achievement markers down there. I imagine B to B is back-to-back. Uh, -back. So I, I'm i going to try for at least that one. We're, we're going to see if we can land another consecutive Tetris. If, if so, great. If not, well... Oh well. It might also not count the back-to-back -back because it's separate levels, but we'll, we'll give it a try. And then we'll move on to the next thing. I'm trying to make sacrificial plays a little bit here. Will it work? It will work! Okay, I'm gonna call that good. So many good games, too. A lot of good games, a lot of games that are really just more nostalgic than good. Ah, yeah, let's, let's do that, provided it has achievements. It has 19 of them, okay. Well, in that case. Thanks, Demo, for spoiling what game this is. Um... We're gonna play Sacros. This is sort of a racing game, but not really. Collect things on the road, shoot down your opponents. Lose track of where you are and crash into the wall. You can shoot down those T things. Oh, I didn't manage to do it that time, but uh, oh yeah, let's start the timer by the way. When you shoot down these tea th things, you get stars, which increase your uh, firepower. You still don't want to hold down the fire button, though, because that does take up energy. Those things I just picked up refill energy. The dudes on the field, uh, if you bring them to the end of the course, you get bonus points for that. Uh, 
gonna want the score. These terrains will uh, will cause things to get a little slippery. You do want to watch out a little bit here. And here we are. Those are Toho Sacros. Why am I not surprised? Also, you can pick these guys back up, by the way. And get more bonus points for them. This game is split up into two kinds of courses. There's a speed course and there's the skill course. And this is the skill course. Also, I think the uh, the power up things here take up a lot more shots. Also, the controls are a bit slippery. They're going for another ride to your death. We might not play this one for half an hour, we'll see. Uh, you can actually hit the side of the field, like that. Uh, that does eat up your energy pretty quick though. Sometimes the answer is to just bump them out of existence rather than trying to crash them into the wall. Oh, tried to go for that, but uh, that didn't work out so well. And sometimes they're just dumb and crash into the walls themselves. That's fine, too. Ah! I missed the, uh... I missed the thing that, uh... There we go. Didn't miss it that time. Missed the energy pickup, though. I think picking up more stars makes your bike more energy efficient. I could be wrong on that. I have no proof of this. Also, I don't know what the boots do. Okay. Another course clear. Only four dudes. I'm not going to be able to pick any of them up. Didn't realize 
guys those could wrap around the screen? I don't think they're supposed to be able to. Oh ho ho! We got the red star! That was the big shots! Oh boy. Let's try not to lose this. I can kind of see there being a Toho 5 version of this. Why wouldn't there be? Why would there be a dude there? It's not like you can actually get it. Oh! <laughs> if this is Turtles in Time? Unfortunately, you get a bit of the Gradius Syndrome. Now we're stuck in this much more difficult place with, uh, no good weapons. And no way to deal with, uh, enemies that are embedded inside walls. Ow! Hmm. Oh, you did videos for it? Me yeah, it's been so long. Like, I probably did watch them, just it's been such a long time, I don't remember. Oh my goodness. 2012, yeah. And considering it was Toho videos, it was probably like three commentary days. Oh, we're getting to the rough pa the rough patch at the end. Now I gotta deal with this tank. A couple of them. Got a one up. A bit low on energy, though. I think the rough patches also, like, eat up energy. There we go. <laughs> cool your die to a lime thing. Now back to a speed course! If I'm not mistaken, I think there are six courses in this game, and once you clear the sixth one, then you just loop the, uh, the last two over and over. It's not a very long game. But for, you know, for being one of these, like, little tiny things, I think it's pretty good. It's a fun little bop. You can play this for, if you got, like, 10 minutes. 20 minutes. This music too. Oh, yeah! Here we go.
getting all the one-ups. Let's go. Getting to the end. Ah, no! Aw, oh, I died right at the end. And we get no dudes. Skill course number two. Oh, trapped myself. I'm not gonna try that again. There will be others. Just before we could have gotten another red star. Oh well. Well, that was Sacros. Fun little bop of a game. Let's see, what are we playing next? I think I know what I want to play next, provided it has achievements. It does, it has 21 achievements. Give me a second as I change the scene. And uh, the next game we shall be playing is Penguin Crew Wars. Oh, and uh, let's reset the uh, the timer while we're here. So let us begin by entering our name. Time for the Smash TV tournament. By which I mean whatever the hell this is. It's real easy. You pick up a ball, throw it to the other side. Stunlock your opponent and win. Oh, you get a sip. Yeah, the uh, the early levels are a bit easy. Will you get perfect game? Cool, you get a set. And now we get this garbage. And this, this actually is something that I never got to play. 
Because for some reason, it just isn't on the, uh, the multi-card. As far as I'm aware, anyway. Like, I've gotten perfect, like, double perfects before. Just... I never was able to, uh, to play this game. They might have just taken it out, or it might have been, like, an anti-piracy check that happened. But anyway... Basically, like, weird Pong. Oh, really? No air here, so just hockey? So now we're, we're gonna start playing for real here. Because they're, they're not going to be stunned for as long, so we, we gotta strategize a little differently. Oh, just barely got that perfect in. But yeah, if it wasn't clear, just throw the balls to the other side, avoid getting hit. And uh, if you get all of the balls to the other side, you get a perfect game. If time runs out, then whoever... Um... Oh, jeez. Like, whichever side has the fewer balls wins. If it's a tie, then it's a tie, you play again. Faster than Express. I get it. I don't know this one. Also, depending on how much time there is left, you can also, like, bank your shots left or right. But you can't do so until I think there is, like, fewer than 30 seconds on the clock. Anyway, that was a weird whack-a-mole. But what's the point of starting? Yeah, the opponents start getting real rough. Like, this one is actively dodging my shots. Now we get to start banking, and also that thing is in the middle to mess things up even more. Oh, geez. Oh, it barely got a ball on the table there. I'm not going to get it perfect, but that's going to be my set. And what's weird is they actually ended up making a, um, a basically like a reboot of this game for the Switch that has like all sorts of weird features to it. Like there's different courses and different kind of challenge 
challenge modes, and like, there's, there's a lot to it. Also, he just kind of walloped himself there, and I just walloped myself. Uh-oh. Uh, that is gonna be a loss. Oh, perfect loss. Ouch. Well, you lost a set. No! But yeah, you get multiple characters in the remake, and you get to upgrade people. It is a, it is kind of a nice, it is a neat concept, but also it gets really hard. Like, I have not managed to finish that game. It just gets super hard at the end. table. I'm still not gonna win, but uh, nope. <laughs> well, that wasn't so bad. And I gave it one more try and then we'll move on to something else to finish. And I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I think you can actually play this as a 16-player game. And just actually, like, make a tournament out of it. This is what happens if you just let your opponent actually, like, play the game. <laughs> myself there. Way to run directly into that one, Coolio. I'm a locksmith, and I'm a locksmith. Good, I'm glad we established that.
I'm guessing that that is just a bonus for basically locking out your opponent. Not really sure what happened there, but okay. I'll take your word for it, game. Even if I don't really believe you. I'm not doing as well this time as uh, last time. I do find that annoying, but like if there's still a ball left on the table, I just get it counted on me. Anyway, round two. Obviously, the big points from getting perfect sets. Ow. And you can kind of nudge yourself, fortunately, if uh, if you take if you, if you take a hit. But uh, you want to be careful that you don't nudge yourself into another hit. Yes, these, uh, these black balls are bombs, and uh, they are significant, um, and right now we're just playing whack-a-mole, but um, I think in the final round of the tournament, there is also a black ball in there, and uh, if you get hit by that, the, uh, the set's over, you lose. If the opponent gets hit by that, the set's over, you win. I might have been able to save that, but uh, unfortunately, didn't work out.
Come on the table. Well, I think I think the dream is over. Oh well. D -d -d Dominating. Game over. Before we go, I do want to see if we can play this as six and four. No, but you can play as eight players. So everyone would have to uh, to fight at least one computer player, and then they start fighting each other. Anyway, we have time for one more. As long as it's uh, not very long. As soon as I say not very long, I think I the thing I know what I want to put on. I mean this shouldn't go on for very long. I'm not that good at it. It does have achievements. It has fifty of them. And this is another game. That only came out in Japan. It is uh, the Goonies. We're probably not going to get very far in this. It's not very easy. It also has weird secrets like that that you're seeing right now. Anyway, uh, let's get it going. So you can jump, you can kick, and kick at the right place. You start revealing things. You got those bombs. You can only have one at a time, unfortunately. Go in front of one of these, press down and B, put down a bomb, open that up, and you'll find a variety of different things. But to get out of a level, you need to find a key and a goonie. Or you need to find all of the keys, sorry, and a goonie. Uh, watch out for those Fratelli brothers, though. They are running around and they will shoot your face. Trying to, to land in those little middle parts there. Dang it! We got all three keys. Oh my goodness. Anyway, we got the three keys, we got the Goonie, we can move on to the next stage. Goes without saying, don't hit the fire. Oh, geez. Now, fortunately, we have the headphones, so those uh, music notes that uh, 
the Fratelli brothers are shooting out will not affect us. There's our Goonie. There's a white mouse. White mouse will have a cross, which will allow you to be in invulnerable for an amount of time, and is probably like the reason that we didn't get this game in North America. Fertility Brothers cannot be killed, but they can definitely be stunned. And your own explosions will absolutely hurt you. As so demonstrated, I forgot that was an instant kill too. We got the Goonie, we, we got the Goonie, we got the keys. Time to find the exit. Is it used on a really old 4chan meme? Is that so? We got a slingshot. We do have limited shots with this, so we uh, you don't want to go all willy-nilly here. But that would have been super a super useful time to actually use this the slingshot. Some health back. White Mouse. Let's bask in this explosion since we can. to worry about the timer a little bit, but we uh, have plenty of time. Have to get by this Fratelli brother. The other way. Oh, this is a Fratelli brother who has a gun. A gun, I don't believe, it, is an instant kill, but will do more damage than you really need to be taking. As to be clear, the amount of damage that you should be taking is ideally none. You're gonna be an asshat. There's the door. And yeah. I think if you get 
seven crystals or seven diamonds, um, you get a one up for that, I think. So one more should do it. Ah, I spent my bomb. Oh, geez. I don't think I got a 1-up for that. I think I just got a health up. We have unfortunately run out of... Uh, of Slingshot. This 2AO3 version of uh, the Goonies are good enough playing at all times. On most times. Up, up. Unfortunately, you can't grab onto ladders. I think you can also not jump off of ladders. Let's see what's in here. Okay. Just couldn't deal with that guy at all. That's fine. Anything over here? That really looks like there's something hidden in there. Right. No. Nothing. Then why was this a place? There's something hidden here? really do without that for Telly Brother camping the friggin' ladder. Okay. More keys! That's everything in this substage. Dang it. Oh boy. The ghost of one eyed Willy. need to find the goonie and find the exit. Hip. 
Well, how nice of you to show up at a place that doesn't bother me at all. There you are, buddy. Let's get out of here. Those are tight jumps. Now let's see if we can find the way out. We do still need to worry about the uh, the in-game timer here. Huh? Ooh. Might be down there. And you might have a gun, but I have a slingshot. And I'm the deadliest slingshot in the West. Just ask Data. Not the android. The other Data. Ah! Well, that sucked. There's the exit. There's that thing up there, though. I'm curious to see what's in there, if we can get up there. We have a bit of time left. Not a whole lot. We can get back down from here easy enough. A 50 second warning. Oh, we're not escaping that one. And that was for a health up. Now let's get out of here before time runs out. I love the Android data, best crew member. Ah, immediately getting a white mouse. Dripping water from the ceiling. Surely that can't hurt us, right? Except that this is a video game, so dripping water from the ceiling absolutely will hurt you. Oh boy. One key. And the ghost of one eyed Willy is uh really hounding us this uh this round. Two keys. I don't think there's anything over there though. Oh wait for Telly. No one likes you. And it's got everything in this subground or substage, whatever. Whatever you want to call it. Miss my shot. Dang. Uh, can't go. Well, we can go up there, but we don't have a bomb. There's no reason for us to go up there. That just appeared. 
It just got l let me get out of the stage. Except that it wasn't. And we got crushed. A crushing defeat. I was trying to see if I could like jump on top of that, but I don't think I can. Oh, I still have my slingshot. For some reason I thought I lost it when I died. That was just a health up anyway. Great. Now, have I been in that, uh, in this one before? I forget if that was the one that I was on. Not that it matters. We did. Well, any dang way. That was the Goonies. And uh, that was the last game of the night. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, I certainly enjoyed playing it. We got a pretty good chunk of achievements. And the Goonies never found the treasure. The end. But yeah, I um that was the the first session of the overachiever. Um I probably gotta do this again at some point in the future, but um it won't be next time. Next time we're gonna go back and do the thing that I said that we were gonna do today, unless they decide to, to um unless they decide to try to schedule a match on the same night as my stream night. Which, you know, very similar vein of the 30 minute games for me, but, but with achievements. Yeah. It's like, I aim for about half an hour, but it's not a hard requirement. Like, if it's a much simpler game, then we'll move on earlier. And if I get into a groove like I did with Tetris, then I might go a little longer. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks to Zero, uh, Grim, J-Pop, and Jewel for hanging out in chat. And anyone else who might be lurking out there, appreciate y'all the same. The next scheduled stream is going to be on Sunday at 8 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time. It is the Sunday Super Shovel where we're going to do some more Archipelago shenanigans. And there are still three uh, games left in my new game, YAML. Uh, there's a short hike, there's Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, and I can't think of the other one offhand. And so I'm going to feel compelled, of course, to go check that. Provided that I can use a computer correctly. Ah, uh, yes, a short hike, Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, and Yoshi's Island. Uh, last time we did Tunic. I enjoyed tuning. I'm going to be putting that on my main YAML. But uh, yeah, we're going to be playing something new next time. And uh, that takes us around the week around the wheel to our next Tuesday stream at 9 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time. We're, we're actually going to get to Shovelware Scavengers. Um, and that is going to, to need some, uh, some input from the people in chat. I will have a list of the eligible games to be played. All you get to identify the game is a directory name. And we're, we're going to see what we can find from these directories. And some of them are even miscategorized, so who knows what we actually get sometimes. Uh, so yeah, I'll have more details on Tuesday about how that's going to work. Anyway, thank y'all for watching. I'm Coolio if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.